How's it going, everybody? I'm Josh from Elder Dragon Highlander, and I'm coming to you with another deck tech video for a janky ass casual deck. It's Ranger Tribal with Mint's beloved Ranger. We're getting this one in before the Lord of the Rings set starts dropping and everything gets spoiled for all the Rangers. We're gonna we're gonna rush this one right in there. We're gonna sneak it right in there before the Lord of the Rings spoilers come and I have to change like 20 cards. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is an on-theme Dungeons & Dragons themed Ranger deck, which is why I don't want all the Lord of the Rings cards in here just yet, because it'll totally change everything, and then I'll have to do another deck tech video, or I'll get to do another deck tech video. It's Dungeons & Dragons themed, though. I'm trying to play all the Dungeons & Dragons Ranger stuff, which is why Minsk is the commander. And the reason it's Dungeons & Dragons themed is because I'm trying to do, like, the actual Dungeons & Dragons class stuff. I'm not talking like this is a Forgotten Realms themed deck. This is like, uh, I have built my level 7 Ranger theme deck. So I have like all the things that your ranger would have, including all of the ranger's equipment. He's got the bow, I've got my sword, I have my other sword for two weapon fighting, I have my horn, I have my axe, I have an insignia and my flag. You know, all all the all the stuff I want. I have all these like weird ranger abilities. You know, that not that one. Well, I guess summoning an elephant is actually a pretty ranger ability. Never mind, I take it back. All these ranger things that I do, and I'm just trying to do ranger stuff. That's really, that's really it. That's the entire point of the deck. I'm not even running Snakeskin Veil, I'm running this one. It's a theme deck, ladies and gentlemen. You don't see these on the channel very often. I try to put as many rangers in the deck as possible, make it as rangery as I could, and try to just stick with ranger shenanigans. Besides that, though, is just a regular combat beatdown deck, baby. You saw that obelisk of Erden there. You know that we're trying to punch people to death with combat damage. We also have the ranger class to be even more on theme, radiant destiny for punching stuff, and shared animosity for punching stuff even harder. Just typical, typical ranger stuff. We have our commander as well, Mint's beloved ranger, uh, to give us a Keswick Wolf run in the command zone, more or less. He can turn any of our creatures big, and all we need is a bunch of mana. So in addition to running a bunch of ranger on theme stuff, we go into the forest, using things like Farseek, Into the North, Nature's Lore, Rampant Growth, Three Visits, Ranger's Path, at, says Ranger, and Sky Shroud Claim. We even have an Escape to the Wilds, which is especially ranger themed. Kindred Charge is another way we can punch people with rangers too. I'm not going to come back to this section, so I just wanted to point that out really, really quick. Let's get into the creatures now, the things you want to see the most. These are all of our rangers. We have a quite a big elf sub-theme in this deck, so something like Birch Lore Rangers is actually very useful. Minsk himself is not an elf, but a lot of our other creatures are. Speaking of which, Cloakwood Scormkeeper. The other sub-theme that we have is a lot of tokens. Rangers have animal companions, right? And so, a lot of our rangers summon tokens. And stuff like Cloakwood Swarmkeeper really helps us get along with that. These one-drop rangers are super, super important. Quirion Ranger, Ranger's Hawk is not a ranger, but it says ranger in the name. You know, rangers gotta bring their companions. And Sky Shroud Ranger. And the reason for that is because we run a very, very powerful ranger. Ranger, Captain of Eos, who summons most of these. Uh, most of the time, I'd honestly get Ranger's Hawk because moving to the dungeon is something that a ranger would want to do anyway, and helps forward our game plan. Besides that, we just have a bunch of other really nice ranger beaters and ranger lords. Kadir is here to make an appearance once more. Giving her some of the equipment is uh, another thing that we could do in this deck too. We have more token makers like this guy and some classic ranger stuff from the legendary creatures from the Dungeons and Dragons stuff. Jade Light Ranger, a lot of the cards in here are actually are rangers in their creature type. Uh, the Jade Light Ranger says Scout in its name, um, but if you look in the Scryfall, it was retconned recently to become a ranger, which makes me really, really happy. That's one of the reasons I made this deck, actually, is because they went and retroactively made a lot of scouts rangers as well, which is super, super cool. And then, of course, we can't have Halana and Elena uh, in the deck and not have it be a ranger deck. I actually have um, Elena, even though she was still, she's not a ranger. She's still a scout. She's the only one in this deck who wasn't turned into a ranger and is still in here, but I couldn't have one of her. Like, Halana is actually a ranger. She's an archer and a ranger. She was retconned, but Elena wasn't, so I put them both in because it's just cruel. They should have partnered with, honestly. Come on. Come on, Wizards. What are you doing? Give me give me more gay romance. Uh Okane Ranger is a really sweet card that I just wanted to touch upon. It makes two tokens, um, even though humans aren't really animal companions, it's close, but it also buffs all of our tokens. This is nice when we want to go wide with tokens, because we can buff them with something that's not a ranger-specific buff. A lot of our tribal buff things will buff our rangers, but they won't buff tokens from the Carefee Swine Master, for example, or other token producers. So having something like that is really helpful for those reasons. Some other notable rangers I just want to talk on is the Silvermoon Ranger, who makes a wolf sometimes and helps us go through the dungeon, the 
dungeon is another great way to get some value and win. Realm Walker, who uh, is still an honorary cleric, but is in here because he's sweet with rangers too. Ranger of Eos, which gets us more of our one-drop rangers. And then Avenging Hunter, which gets us the initiative, the better version of the dungeon. This one's sweet. I thought about adding Lazelle's acrobatics into the deck. That's a notable exclusion. But uh, I feel like it's not quite there. I, I just I couldn't find a slot for it, honestly. So there's there's your notable exclusion. Here's a, another another ranger card, Cloak Cadet. This one does some human stuff. Our commander is a human, which is nice. And we also do some plus and plus one counter things, which we have a few plus and plus one counter things in the deck, but not a ton. Most notably, though, the ranger class puts plus and plus one counters on our attacking creatures, which is why this guy is sweet. Can you believe Cloud Goat Ranger and Juniper Order Ranger were put into rangers as well? I mean, it makes sense. It's in their name. It's just... Kind of cool, the retcons. This is just a deck that I really made because I was really happy about these retcons. And here's the ultimate ranger making a bunch of tokens, doing exactly what this deck wants to do. That's more or less it. We have a lot of really cool lands in here that do a lot of cool land things. Nykthos is in here so that we can make a ton of mana for Minsk. And other than that, there's nothing really notable. We're on Snowlands for the uh, Into the North uh, stuff. Actually, it's past 30 seconds in the video. For the Into the North shit. Oh yeah, suck it, YouTube advertisers. That's about it. So if you enjoy this kind of, uh, oh wow, they retconned a creature type, let me go quickly build a tribal deck nonsense, uh, make sure you follow the channel. We have a Discord where you can come and brew decks like this one or play games against decks like this one. We have a Twitter where you can follow if you want to be up to date on the most recent stuff we're doing. We have a Patreon if you want to throw money at us for whatever reason. And also, you can subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Thank you all so much for watching, and... Stay janky, my friends. I'll see you next time.